Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. Our main man, Eddie K tweeted something last night, which is it's pinned up at the top of his Twitter, at Eddie K 97 I'll read it to you here. I hope that 97 is in the year he's born, or I'm going to feel really old. Mm. He says here, I'm forever grateful for the WWE Thunderdome. I am forever grateful for the memories this created. I am forever grateful for all of it. The official end came tonight. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, WWE. Hashtag Thunderdome, Raw, SmackDown, at Famous Group LA. Number of hearts there. Feel bad for Eddie. He loved it. Part of his life. He'll probably never get back again unless we have another horrible pandemic, which I don't wish, obviously. Nor do I think Eddie does either. But I want to say a few things about the Thunderdome here very quickly. I am so glad that we are done with the Thunderdome, okay? However, I am also, like Eddie, very grateful for the Thunderdome. Because it's been a long time now, so I think maybe some of you might have forgotten this or tried to block it out of your mind. But when this pandemic first started, we saw a bunch of shows every week in empty buildings. And at the beginning, it was really weird because not only were the buildings empty, but the wrestlers were just pretending like there were fans there. So like they'd be in an empty building, they'd do a spot, and then they would look for cheers from the walls. It was bizarre, and it was depressing, and, I mean, it was depressing enough that we were in the middle of a pandemic. And then, you know, the idea for a lot of people of watching WWE, for example, is an escape. Well, you watch WWE, and you're escaping a pandemic by watching a show in the middle of a pandemic, and there's nobody there, and it's sad and depressing. And then they, like, pretend there's not a pandemic. I don't know if you guys remember this or not, but, like, there was never any mention of why there were no fans. They never said the word pandemic until, like, I think it was November, maybe, they finally said the word pandemic on television. But it was just, it was bizarre. And then one day they announced that they were going to build this thing called the Thunderdome. And it debuted right around SummerSlam. And it wasn't real fans, but you know what? It was enough like real fans that it was a breath of fresh air. I was so excited. They weren't really there, but you know what? There were actual fans responding to the show. Now, it wasn't real. You know, if Eddie is watching on his phone or his computer or whatever, and he starts chanting, you know, Joe is going to kill you or whatever, I mean, Joe's not there. So you're not going to actually, you're not going to hear anything Eddie says. It was all fake sound. But, you know, they would tell the people to, to go like this or whatever or do the thumbs down or et cetera, et cetera. So uh, it was better. It was much better. But then the problem, and this is, not the fan, this is not the fault of the Thunderdome, the problem was they started to, they started to abuse what I like to call their Thunderdome privileges. They would be doing stuff that sucked, and they'd make, them, they'd make those fans cheer. And then they have somebody that was like obviously you know, a a heel, and they'd make them cheer for them. And then they had, you know, lights out and magic and all this other stuff, and it was was not good. And the booking in the Thunderdome era, it was horrible, to the point where the guy who was in charge of telling you who to boo and cheer, sometimes he didn't seem to have any idea who he was supposed to tell you to boo and cheer. He was was as baffled as anybody. So at the end of the day, after, after we lived the Thunderdome era for a while, I'm very glad that it's gone. I'm ready for real fans to tell us what they really think. Maybe these fans are going to come back and man, they're going to do some magic and they're going to do some dolls and the fans are going to love it. And I'll just turns out I'm out of touch, but I don't think I am. Well, we're going to find out soon because these fans are coming back on Friday. So to conclude, I'm glad we had a Thunderdome. The Thunderdome was a great idea for its time, but it overstayed its welcome in many ways. And I'm glad that the real deal is about to come back here. I'm not sure if you said anything, Mike, because I had you muted. But is there anything you'd like to say? I didn't say anything. I know better than to try to jump in on one of your rants there. But a fantastic use of technology. They did what they could, and I thought they did a great job. And uh, that's pretty much that. It's over with now. we got live people on the road again, so we'll see how they react. We've seen one example at WrestleMania about how people will react to things WWE is putting out there. So 
this is now makes it official and now we're going to have something to build off of uh, with each one of these crowd responses show after show look at these people brian is hilariously optimistic why all of a sudden i'm on the payroll now of wwe well, here's why, why am i not allowed to be optimistic here's why i think people are poking some fun at you is because especially in this realm here on observer live when i have tried to be positive you have shut it down with with very negative but very truthful statements about how wwe can break your heart and why you can't have any faith or optimism in there even though i am a silver lining type of person so to see people or to for people to see you having this silver lining having some optimism that things could change that they might listen to the fans if they turn on something and instead of doubling down on it have some faith have some faith that they could do something i think people are people may be rolling their eyes no a mike bit let me that. explain the difference here okay your positivity mike that i mock mm -hmm. is usually we'll be talking about a storyline or an angle and you'll, for some reason, have some sort of optimism that this storyline or this angle is going to, like, be any good, okay? My optimism is merely that if you go from a building where there's nobody in it except TV screens, and you replace all of those TV screens with living people, like... I'm optimistic that that's going to be like a positive change. Okay. Okay. So I guess maybe I have people no are, are heckling you for your simplicity. Then when I it's have like, no hey, faith. you know the sun. You know the sun. It's going to rise tomorrow. Bet yeah. And if I said the sun was going to rise tomorrow, and somebody made fun of me for that, it'd be like, well, you're you're the problem, no, well, bro. You're being Captain Can I finish here? here though? Can I finish? No. It's Why? gonna be better. You're gonna run me down more. It's no. What I'm explaining, Mike, is uh -huh. that I am optimistic that if you take no fans and replace them with ten thousand fans, that is going to be a net positive. Okay. I also have never said that any of this booking or storytelling or anything is going to be better, but I have said that I am optimistic. I am confident that they are going to begin bringing people back. They're going to bring back a John Cena which the fans are going to go crazy for. They're going to bring back a Becky Lynch, which the fans are... If I sat here and I said, we're going to go from an empty building to a building packed full of fans, and they're going to bring back Becky Lynch and John Cena, and no one is going to care, and the, the screaming fans will be a negative compared to the Thunderdome, I'd be out of my mind to be that negative about these things that are going to happen. When you see me coming on here and saying... Whoa, that finish last night where Xavier Woods pinned Bobby Lashley. I'll bet that's going to lead to an exciting series of pay-per-view matches between Xavier and Bobby Lashley, perhaps culminating in Xavier Wood winning. If I say something like that, feel free to mock my optimism. But I didn't say anything like that. I said it'll be better with fans, and I said we're going to have some returns that those fans are going to be excited about. If you think that that is being overly optimistic, I don't know what to tell you. You need to do something with your life to see more joy in the everyday world. Go smell some flowers. Go take a walk in the woods. Go look at the sunrise, because you know what? The sun is going to rise tomorrow, Mike Sempervivi. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go up in the morning, mm -hmm. and then it's going to go down in the afternoon and evening. And then it will be dark. I feel I like I'm it, writing a new I Bible every verse. every day raising over the Atlantic. Every single day I see that happen. Well, I, see? I know it's going to rise tomorrow. Yeah, so if you tell me, Mike, if mm -hmm. you tell me that you're confident where they're going to go with Xavier Woods and Bobby Lashley, I will ridicule you. If you tell me that tomorrow there will be a beautiful sunset over the ocean and a beautiful sunrise as well, I will say, you're right, Mike. You're absolutely correct. You know, you know maybe one of the other reasons that, that people are like, you know, Busting your kuhines there is because my what my kuhine well, your uh, your kuyans there. I wasn't sure uh, how how sports byline looked at that, so I kind of double clutched on it. But maybe maybe people are jumping on you because you're you're kind of a jerk. You ever think that? I'm not a jerk. I'm not a jerk at all. I I cannot believe that we've come to the point where if I have any sort of optimism about WWE, now I am labeled a jerk. Now nah, people thought you were a jerk before that. Maybe they're just taking. I'm gonna do the raw report you. when you come back. You're a real jerk. <laughs> back in a moment, Observer Live. If you enjoy these videos for just seven dollars and ninety nine cents per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.